Well, we're down here mushroom hunting, and we found this lobster mushroom. It's all buggy. Yep. It's got bug holes in it, though, so we're not going to take it. But it's a pretty neat find. Yeah, it's breaking apart. It's half rotted. Cool. Yeah, I hear you. The big white ones I've ate many a time, they are good. The little ones I'm not missing. Found some old broken off honey mushrooms. Got some bug holes in them. This one right here too. This one's still connected, but yeah, that one has bug holes too. Yeah, I'll just leave them there. People want to watch for expertise, not for oh. amateur hour. Well, that's a honey mushroom. Looks like there's a bug. That's just good. That is good. There's no bugs in it. Might you have one good one, son. Awesome. First one. <laughs> That's another one with a bug you got it there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's all, it has holes in it. All the way down it. Oh, good. Oh, first good mushroom of the trip. <laughs> awesome. Little honey mushroom. Nice pure white, no holes. And I got some little buttons over here, but they're all they're kind of buggy. Yeah, see, they have all the. Uh, all rotted out on the inside. All right, found some black trumpets. Got some little ones right here, and then got a a little bit of a bigger one right there. And there's one over here too, I think. We just found them. A bunch of them. Awesome. It's the first time I've ever found these. Look, they feel like some fresh. You can't tell on these on the buggy. Yeah, I'll step down now. This one back here. Uh, we're here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. In here too? No. Yeah. So that cut palm was actually purple. Mhm. Mm wait, wait. Some more of them. About this one. Looks the same. Yeah. More black trumpets. Old honey mushrooms. Probably about two weeks old. Mm hmm. All done. All done. Yeah. They're all rotten and fell over. Oh, seems like we missed it. We found this red hand trail on the trail right here. It's old, it's getting soft and curling up a little bit. It's beautiful. Just gonna leave it there. Old honey mushrooms. This was just loaded the other day. Oh wow. Look at it. More red shine trails? Yeah. Those are all good. Should I cut these guys at this time or? I just take the very tip off. These are all good. 
Oh, that guy's there? Oh, you could pull higher. I wouldn't be worried about that. A little dirty from all the rain. Cool. Wow. Hey, finally getting something. Wow. Man, look at all of them. There's only this one spot every year I find them. Mm -hmm. That's it. They're gone. Done. <laughs> Why not leave a few more up there? Wow. I'm just making sure they're nice and firm, so they're not. Okay, I don't know if the ones I this got This one's kind of, yeah. You see how it's getting spongy? It's a little spongy, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Good. Okay. For all of them, that's like the nice firm legs. flat ones, not the ones that are all kind of curled yeah. up. Yeah, like you know, you tell that. About this thing. That was good. Yeah. That's part of it. Okay. Last year, that's, it was huge and meaty, man. Yeah. yeah I, and I think it was a tad better than the wood. I yeah. really do. Old, broken off part of the chicken of the woods from last year. All machine rotten. And all that too. Went all the way up the tree. Yeah, all that too there. Used to go from up here all the way down. That's awesome. How wide was it? You can kind of tell. Like right in here somewhere. That white stuff is. Yeah. There's another small chunk in here. Yeah. There it is. I like it. Hopefully next or this, later this. It's like a mushy paste. Alright, so I rinsed them off and soaked them in salt water a bit just to get any bugs out that might have been in there even though nothing came out. Um, not the biggest haul I've ever gotten mushroom hunting, but interesting variety. I've never taken these before. That's why I went with Keith today so we could get some new stuff that he's harvested before. Um, so he knows what he's doing. A lot better than I do. Um, we got these chantelles, uh, this one fresh honey mushroom, and you know the black trumpets, and uh, you know we found all the other stuff, but it was either rotted or uh, or had a lot of bug holes in it, or both. Um, you know this year was kind of an interesting situation, or this trip, I guess, this first trip this year, because. Um, these, these mushrooms started sprouting like the last week of August, which is really, really early for around here. Normally it's mid-September at the earliest. So um, we had this, we had a cool summer and, um, and these mushrooms came up really early and then it got hot, you know, the last few days and almost all of them, you know, the heat or something affected them and they all just kind of died off and rotted and that's why we found so many dead honey mushrooms today and things like that. But Keith was telling me, you know, a couple of days ago there was just tons of fresh honey mushrooms. So we just kind of missed it by a little bit, but we're going to go back out in, a, you know, in the next couple of months and hopefully if the mushrooms come back up by then, once, you know, there's a few frosts or near frosts, and hopefully we'll do better. Um, usually we get some big hens and that makes it a lot more interesting and, you know, I get a lot more meat out of that. So yeah, but I'm happy with this. This is... This is a meal or two.